Hey, hey, guys! Happy Monday! This is Kathy Dupree coming to you live from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I assist home business owners by helping them generate more leads, grow their business, brand themselves by learning attraction marketing principles and the right way to market online. So if you're here on the replay, feel free to jump ahead a quick minute and we'll get right into today's topic then right away, which is to do with helping you achieve your goals faster. So it's Monday, start to a brand new week. Hey Jen, thanks for jumping on sweetie. Hey Liesl, thanks for joining. Fresh slate, love Mondays, entire week wide open and in front of us. Didn't used to like Mondays too much at all. Hey Judy, thanks for jumping on. You got on at the start, hey? Thanks for joining. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd be wild and crazy and do a video on Monday outside of my normal Tuesday, Thursday um, time spot. So who else is here? Welcome Carla, nice to have you here. Thanks so much for always joining. So how are you guys doing? You have a good weekend? Hey Josh, thanks for joining. Hello to you too. All right, well hopefully you guys had a great weekend and you're all pumped that it's Monday and ready to have an awesome productive week. Hey Judy. So let's jump right into today's topic, which is five tips or action steps to help you achieve your goals faster. Hey Michelle, thanks for jumping on. So how many of you guys set goals for yourselves? Do you set specific goals for the day, for the week, for the month, like three month, six month, nine month goals, one year, five year, like more long term goals? Hey Candace, thanks for joining. Aren't you in school? You must be on a, on a planning break or whatever, but thanks for joining sweetie. Do you guys write your goals down? Setting goals and writing them down are very important keys to success. And I'm actually going to dive deeper into this topic in a coming live, so be sure to watch for that. But today I wanted to share with you, assuming you have some kind of goals in place, even if they're just roughly in your head at this point, five tips, or like I said, we're going to call them action steps that you can take to achieve those goals faster. Who wouldn't want that, right? Faster the better, I figure. So whatever your goals, dreams, and desires might be, obviously you'd rather realize them sooner than later. You'd rather reach them without having to work countless hours and endless amounts of time. Am I right? I know I'm right on this one. It's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, so here we go with five action steps to achieve your goals faster. Number one, you need to learn to prioritize. Have you ever felt totally overwhelmed with everything you need to accomplish during a given day. You've got everything written down, but your list is huge and you have no idea where to start. I have been there. Oh, have I been there, my friends, and I know all too well what it feels like sitting in front of the, your computer, not knowing exactly what to do and what's the most important task or tasks to focus on first. So I mentioned having everything written down, but to be clear, that is the first, I guess you could say, sub-step. Write your tasks down. So now you have a list of, let's say, it's five to ten tasks. Try to stay around ten for the day, which is actually m way more than enough. And then note any additional tasks on a separate list. So whether it's five or ten, what now? Well, in order to start to prioritize, we're going to use the Pareto or Pareto. I'm never sure how it's pronounced. Candace, my teacher friend, is it Pareto or Pareto? <laughs> you know, principle. We've talked about this for, but does, before, but does anyone know or remember what this principle states? Do, 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 do. Well, yes. It's the 80-20 rule, and it can be expressed in a number of different ways, um, but for our purposes, 20% of your tasks or activities will bring you 80% of the results. Another example, just for interest's sake, is that 80% of your income will come from 20% of your customers, and really, you can see the Pareto Principle in action in many different applications. Okay, so for our example, let's say we do have 10 major tasks on our list. And actually what you need to do with them is really pretty simple. Look at your list and pick only, actually it's really not that simple now that I think about it because I know I have a huge list and sometimes picking just 
which two tasks, but that's what you need to do. Pick only two tasks that once done will bring you the biggest results in your business. And you probably figured this already, the two tasks must be money making activities. So if you want to achieve your goals faster, you must focus on the income producing activities. For example, generating leads and following up with them. These are the two big ones. What about the other eight tasks? Well, either get back to them later or cross them off today and revisit them tomorrow. Alternately, and I haven't done this yet, but I know a lot of people in this industry who outsource many of the non-income producing or like busy, busy tasks. Um, you can go to places like Fiverr and apparently a lot of people in this industry um, outsource to people in the Philippines who are able and capable and willing to do these kind of jobs. And I guess it's like relatively um, inexpensive to do that too. So it might be something you want to look at at some point, um, outsourcing some of your tasks if you have a huge to-do list. Okay, so number two, number one was the longest one. This isn't going to be like a super long live. It's going to be longer than most. Hey Mark, how's it going buddy? Buddy, buddy. Number two, be specific. Get very specific with your goals. I can't stress enough how important and crucial really it is for your business that you get specific. You have to know what you want out of life. You definitely have to have and know what your why is. And we'll talk more about this in an upcoming video as well. But why are you doing your video in the first place? Other questions to help you get more specific with your goals are, what kind of lifestyle do you want to have? What about your relationships and the more material things? What kind of house do you want to have ideally? What kind of car do you want to drive? How much, if at all, do you want to travel? Where do you want to go? What kind of hotels do you want to stay in? <laughs> Buddy, if you're still working a nine to five job, how long do you think it will take you to quit your job or maybe retire your spouse and do your business full time from home? What's your desired income level for income goal for the month? How much do you need to make per week and per day to hit this target? When you take the time to really figure out your goals as clearly and detailed as possible, and when you know exactly what you want to achieve, you'll get there much faster. Number three, figure out how. So you have a goal to reach a certain destination, well, it's very important for you to understand how you're actually going to get there. It's as essential to know your goals as it is to know how you're going to achieve them. It's okay to dream about living in a nice house, but only dreaming about it won't get you anywhere. Hey, April, thanks for joining. Hope you're having a good day. You must have a plan of action. Your action plan is the foundation for your goals and it will help you achieve your goals faster. You need to know exactly what you have to do every single day to get where you want to be. You have to know how many leads you need to generate. What sources are these leads going to come from? How many do you need per month? How many do you need per day? And the most important question of all, how much value do you need to be providing to the marketplace in order to attain your desired income goal? That's really key, how much value you need to be providing. Number four, break your goals down. So there's two types of goals. Most of us know short-term and long-term goals. In the beginning, long-term goals don't really seem achievable, do they? They're so far off in the distance. But that's why you have to bring these big goals and break them down into smaller ones. So let's say you've got a big goal which you want to achieve in, say, five years' time span. In order for you to do that, you have to take action every single day over an extended period of time. You need to have smaller goals that you can achieve during 30, 60, and 90 day time frames. And not only do they then sound much more achievable, you will also be able to see yourself getting there. So if you want to achieve your goals faster, step four is that you simply must break your big targets into smaller ones. And this will also create the momentum you need to attain bigger and bigger goals. And number five, create a real plan of action. So action, like I said, is the foundation of your business. 
Set the foundation right and everything else will be much more simple. Without any planned action, you're going to have a very tough time achieving your goals at all. Sorry, it's kind of harsh, but it is true. You need to create a routine for yourself, which will fit your personal lifestyle and circumstances, whether you have a nine to five job or not. So you really need to dedicate at least one to three hours per day to your business if you're doing it part time. And of course, if you're doing it full time, you're looking at a lot more time than that to put in to achieve results and uh, realize your dreams faster. Um, so if you want to achieve your goals faster, your plan of action, like your goals, has to be written down, not just in your head. I like to put everything in a daily and monthly planner so that I can see it all at a glance and so that I can see what I need to do every day. I strongly encourage you to do this too. Don't try to keep everything in your head because you'll inevitably forget things. Just, you can't remember everything with so much going on. Again, just as with your goals, your plan of action must be crystal clear and very, very specific. There are certain actions that you need to be taking daily to achieve your goals faster. And more importantly, you have to be consistent. That's another key is consistency. You have to stick to your plan day in and day out. No excuses. Congratulations. This is your most liked live video yet woohoo <laughs> and there we go there we have it the five action steps you can take to achieve your goals faster so i really hope you guys got some value out of this today if you did i always like the thumbs up and the hearts did you guys know when those come up i'm sure i'm not sure if you can see them on the screen i think you can yeah you can but it's so cool how they come up and they pop and then your profile picture comes up very cool Anyways, feel free to share this out to anyone you know who might find it helpful or get some value out of it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my live videos, just wait around for another couple of seconds till the video has ended and click on subscribe so you're always notified before I go live. Because like right now, I'm on a not regular time. Um, I'm planning to do this one, or I was planning to do this one, in addition to my regular Tuesday and Thursday lives, but there is a chance that I may um, not be around at my normal time tomorrow, in which case maybe I'll do a Tuesday night live. So all the more reason that you need to get uh, subscribed. The other thing is, uh, go over to YouTube and uh, look me up just by my name and subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out all of my previous videos and I'll be adding more on a regular basis almost daily. So with that, I hope you guys have a great Monday, great start to the week. I hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you back here hopefully tomorrow, same time or else if I can't be here this time, I'll do one tomorrow night. So have a good one guys. Thanks so much for joining in. Bye.